Hi everyone, this is Adam from Fernspace 3D and today I'm going to be showing you the library manager inside Interiocad T5. Um, this is a very useful tool that allows you to edit the current library as well as create your own customized library. Very easy, just a few clicks of the button. So I'm going to open up a scene here and I'm just going to go to my library manager. Okay, It's going to bring up the library manager and now here on the left hand side of the screen we can see all our categories that we already have. So if we just expand some of them, we can just browse through uh, the existing ones. But what we want to do here is create our own library. So I'm going to go click on user library. I'm going to right click on that and go new group. And I'm going to call this my models and click OK. Another okay, the great thing about this is adding models is really easy. All I do is I right click in one of these empty cells here. I can either import a single model, multiple models, or even a texture. So I'm going to choose a single model for now. I'm going to go browse. And um, I'm going to choose this two seater model that I've got over here. Just click open. And uh, we'll see a little preview pops up. And it'll ask us which sort of category we want to define for this model. So I'm going to call this a single sofa. I'm going to click OK and OK again. And you'll see that my sofa is now automatically added to my library. Now, if I want to import more than one at a time, I can choose multi. I can just drag a selection window around the rest over there, click open. And I'm just going to click on unknown for now. And there you see, these automatically get added. If I want to later on define the specific uh, category that it, it appears in, I can just go and um, right click on where it says class, go modify class, and then go and set its new class. So that's a little sofa stool there, select that, and now it has its new class assigned. Okay, I can then, if I wanted to, move this to a different group within my library structure. So I could go to move to, I could choose somewhere else, for example my online cloud library and you can see it automatically gets moved there. I can copy that. So I can copy back to my user library. And there we go, I've got a copy. So I'm just going to go and delete uh, the one inside my cloud library for now. Now let's say I've got a collection of textures that I want to add to my library. Once again I can just right click on user library, go new group, and I can call this my textures and click OK. All I do here is right click on the group, go import texture, browse for the textures I want to use, click OK, and there we go, they're automatically added to the library. So all I need to do now to uh, apply these changes is close the material, the, ma the library manager, okay, close the VR, so there we go. I'm going to open it up again, and now the changes will have been applied. So if I go open up a brand new scene, let's um, just go to uh, open up my scene. I can go to my products library, show library, go down to user library, and then I can find the models that I created earlier. So if I want to, to um, insert this uh, ottoman here, for example, okay, all I need to do is double click on it, and it will automatically be inserted into my scene. Same thing, and it can apply for this armchair. There you go, let's just rotate it around. And there we go. So you can see it's very simple and easy to create your own user libraries.